tonight, an oasis that runs through Austin. The water in Lady Bird Lake is running fast. The big question, will it be spilling over its banks? What happens over the next 24 to 48 hours on our local lakes is largely in the hands of the Lower Colorado River Authority and its floodgate operations. But one key piece, Longhorn Dam, is operated by the city of Austin. We sent out to get an update on whether it's ready to withstand the water that's coming since a 2014 report found it needed major repairs and upgrades. Alyssa Gore went digging today. She joins us live at the Longhorn Dam with some answers. Alyssa. Well, Sydney and Robert, a city report from back in 2014 shows that if just one more gate at Mansfield Dam was open, water would come up and over the top of the Longhorn Dam here. Now, it wouldn't go over the top of Pleasant Valley Road, which is on top of it. However, no one can say exactly what will happen because no one has seen what's happened when all six gates over at Mansfield Dam are open. As record levels of water come down the Colorado River, Questions about the history of the Longhorn Dam resurface. It's been around since 1960. Once part of a power plant, it now keeps Lady Bird Lake level. A report in 2014 revealed the dam needed updated gates and electrical systems within the next few years to stop water levels from fluctuating. Austin Energy conducted repairs on Longhorn Dam and then Austin Water and Austin Energy conducted an operational assessment of it back in February and the results of that assessment was that they were in working condition. All seven of the Longhorn Dam floodgates are open now. So what happens next depends on the LCRA and what they decide for Mansfield Dam upstream. They've never had eight floodgates open at the same time, so it's really hard to assess exactly what would happen. More rain could mean uncharted territory. The city is asking everyone in the area to keep an eye on their surroundings. But we do have staff on standby in case things do deteriorate. With APD, they have uh, barricades ready, crews ready to put up barricades, and we also have um, crews out in case that they need to rescue people from any low water crossings. So we know it's not likely that water over here will pass over the top of Pleasant Valley Road over there. However, the city's Watershed Protection Department is issuing more places to look out for on their ATX Floods website, and those include this location right here on Pleasant Valley Road, right where it meets Longhorn Dam. They say if more water comes down the Colorado River, it could be possible to see water coming over the top of this road right here. They also put a similar alert out for Cesar Chavez where it hits Lamar. You can check ATX Floods for more information about where that's happening. Sydney Robert, back to you.